I am melting just sitting here and I haven't even started filming, but I just got back home from Hermes and I could not wait to sit down and unbox this new bag with you because this is going to be the most surprising, if not most shocking unboxing I have ever done. I really don't think that any one of you would have expected to see me unbox this bag and especially this bag in this leather and in this color, because let me tell you, it is the most colorful Hermes bag I have ever bought. In fact, it's not a color I would have said yes to in the past, but this year I'm all about saying yes to more things, having new experiences, and really just trying to be more open-minded and open to things. And I feel like that should also apply to Hermes. So I'm really curious to hear what you have to say about this bag because it is going to be quite a shock. It was even a shock for me that I ended up saying yes to this piece and I really hope I did not go too far, but it is going to be really my first time looking at this bag up close and personal and taking it all in. It's not a piece that I ever had a chance to play around with. I saw it for the first time in person this morning when I paid for it and so I'm really excited to just really have a proper look at it up close and personal with you and if you'd like to join me in unboxing this very special new Kelly bag then make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet and keep on watching let me give you the briefest of backstories before we jump into the unboxing just so if you are also interested in adding this back to your collection you have an idea for what to expect because even though it is a seasonal take on the Kelly bag, it's not technically a wish list or a quota bag, meaning that it is not going to be considered as one of the two bags that you can or you are allowed to buy from Hermes each year unless you pick it up in exotic skin. And it's not actually something that you can put into the new digital wish list system. Instead, it's something that you just have to ask for and you have to be really lucky to be offered. So a couple of weeks ago, I actually reached out to my boutique to let them know that I would love to play around with this bag and if they ever got one in, I would love to look at it. And they immediately told me that it is going to be quite tough because they thought that I would only be interested in this bag in either black or in a neutral shade. But I actually told them that I would be open to more colors, especially in this style, because it is definitely a more casual style. To me, it is something, it is of course an actual bag, but it feels a lot more laid back and a lot more relaxed than some of the other iterations of the Kelly bag. So I said that if I'm ever going to play around with color, I feel like this is the perfect chance to do that. So they said, well, if you're open to color, if you're open to leathers, we can definitely have a look for you. And this morning I had a chance to stop by and pick up this bag. It is a seasonal take on the Kelly bag, as I mentioned, and it's something that first popped up on the runway for spring summer 2023. However, on the runway, this bag was presented with an ostrich feather trim, which is not something that I personally would have been open to and thankfully when it came to actually launching this bag later i think it was later last year that these bags started hitting stores they not only released a very small number of the feather trimmed bags but the majority of the bags that started hitting the market came without the feather detail so of course that's what i went for so without further ado let's go ahead and get into unboxing this bag so as you would expect we have the orange box it is even though it is a seasonal bag it is not an exceptional bag so we have the traditional orange box and before i reveal what's in this dust bag i would love for you to guess in the comment section what bag you think is hiding in here and if you can also guess the color and the leather i would love to read your guesses because it is going to be a surprising unboxing from me for sure. So I would love to know if you can guess what seasonal Kelly bag is in this dust bag. But without further ado, let me introduce you to a very special new bag, which I am going to call my Wicked bag because I am a big fan of Wicked the musical and they are of course coming out with a new live action movie take on it with Ariana Grande, who I am a big fan of. So this is my Wicked bag because it is the so-called Kelly Alan in the color bamboo in 
gold skin. Now, bamboo was a seasonal color, but it is a color that Hermes continues bringing back, but it is quite different, not only every single season, but it can look very different depending on what color you pick it up in, because in Togo, it tends to look a lot more vibrant and a lot lighter, whereas in gold skin, it looks and feels a lot richer and a lot deeper. Something you have to know about gold skin is that number one, it is an extremely hard wearing, hardy leather, but it is really lightweight and that it absorbs color beautifully. So if you're looking to add a pop of color to your collection, gold skin is a great choice because it will absorb and translate color beautifully and colors tend to look really saturated, really rich and multi-dimensional in gold skin. Whereas in let's say Epsom, colors can look a little bit more muted and a little bit more almost faded. So if you're a big fan of colors, gold skin is a great one to go for, not to mention that it is really lightweight and it is pretty scratch resistant, but it is definitely on the softer side. Now, I was never a big fan of gold skin. In fact, I think this is my first gold skin piece from Hermes. So it is a first for many reasons. It is my first Kelly Elan, my first really colorful bag from Hermes, and also my first piece in Chev. But as I mentioned, Chev is a great, hard-wearing, extremely lightweight leather. The reason I was never the biggest fan or I wasn't the biggest fan previously is because I am not a particularly big fan of leathers that have a sheen to them and Chev has a really nice glossy finish and depending on the color, it can look a little bit almost, it can look like as if it had almost like an oil slick finish and it can feel a little bit slimy. Now holding this bag doesn't feel slimy, but it definitely feels very different to the touch than any other leather from Hermes would, in my opinion. But as I mentioned, it is a really laid back casual bag. So I was open to playing around with different colors and leathers. So I see how I like it. And of course I will keep you posted on it. Now the Kelly Elan, as I mentioned, is a seasonal take on the Kelly bag. I don't think it's going to be short lived. I have a suspicion that it is going to be around for a while. I mean, it has been around for a year and I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, I think it is something that they will play around with for quite a while. To me, this bag feels like something, it feels kind of similar to the Kelly wallet, which you know, I am a huge fan of the Kelly wallet, except this is significantly bigger. I think this bag measures 28 centimeters and it is a little bit more, it definitely has kind of like an east west feel to it, but I don't think it feels too elongated because if you've been with me for a while, you will know that I am not usually the biggest fan of east west more elongated bags, but I like the fact that the proportions remained true to the original proportions of the Kelly bag, so they didn't squish it too much because when it comes to things like the Constance Elan, which is technically part of the same family. To me, the Constance Elan feels a lot more out of proportion than this one does. And for a small mini bag, it is extremely spacious. So if you're looking for a bag that will fit things like your phone, a bag that you really don't have to negotiate with for space, this I think would be a good one for you to look into, but it definitely reminds me of the Kelly wallet, which I am a huge fan of and have been pretty much since the very beginning of my Hermes journey or my Hermes experience, but it also borrows inspiration from the Kelly pochette and also the Kelly cut. So I feel like it gives you the best of all these worlds. Now it is inspired by a seasonal design that was around for a while, which I believe was called the Kelly long, which was somewhere between a Kelly pochette and a Kelly cut. The main difference between this and that bag is that the Kelly Long was slightly thinner and it also had a top handle, whereas this bag, as you can tell, doesn't come with a top handle. Instead, it comes with a strap that allows you to carry this bag as a shoulder strap, which is personally not something that I would do because the strap for me is way too short. I'm going to measure it and leave the measurements up on the screen here so you can really only carry it really close under your arm, which to me is just a little bit more feminine. I love the look on others, but personally it wouldn't work for me. And the strap itself is also quite thin, which again, 
I just don't think it would work with my proportions, which is definitely very reminiscent of the strap that comes with the Kelly to go. So if you're a big fan of the Kelly to go, but you always felt that it was a little bit too small for you, or perhaps a little bit more casual, this might be something nice for you to look into. Now the way I am planning on styling this, is strictly as a grab and go pochette or a grab and go clutch bag. I really don't see myself carrying it crossbody or with that really thin shoulder strap. Now you would not be able to carry this as a crossbody bag with the strap that you're given because it would be way too short, but I'm sure you can find some longer straps online. If I can find any for you, I can make sure to link them in the info box, but Personally, it's not how I envision myself carrying this, but on the inside, it has a very, very simple snap closure mechanism that allows you to attach a shoulder strap to the inside of this bag and carry it just under your arm. But again, that would be way too feminine for me. When it comes to the construction of the bag, it is an extremely, extremely thin, almost paper thin bag, but because of the size and because it does have a little bit of dimension to it. I think it will pack a ton. It's definitely something that will fit your phone, even a cosmetic pouch. It does have a pocket on the inside, which means that you don't necessarily need a wallet or even a credit card holder in this bag because that pocket is perfect for you to slide a couple of cards into or even some cash. It doesn't have any dividers, but considering that it runs almost the entire length of the bag, it is definitely spacious enough for you to take advantage of. But other than that, there are no additional details on this bag. It is really quite simple. And I think it was made for you to grab and be out the door, but it still is a bag that in my opinion is extremely sleek, modern looking, and it is really quite special in my opinion, but for a Kelly bag, it definitely feels a little bit more casual, which I personally really appreciate. Now, when it comes to colors, you have plenty to choose from. This bag is available in almost every single shade that you can think of from black through neutrals all the way to some truly vibrant colors. I do think that bamboo is one of the most vibrant colors that they have offered this bag in, but there are plenty of colors out there. I do think that the most popular color in this bag is gold, which gold is exclusively available in Madame. Madame leather is comparable to Epsom, except Madame has slightly smaller grains and it has a little bit more sheen to it than Epsom does. Then of course you have the option of Chevre, which do keep in mind that there is a price jump between Madame and Chevre, Chevre being slightly more expensive. I have also seen this bag in box and exotic skins too, so you have a lot to choose from. And I feel like if you're looking for an everyday bag, an everyday mini bag, but a mini bag that still fits a ton, something that you can take advantage of, so slightly bigger than a Kelly wallet or a mini Kelly, but something a little bit more versatile than a Kelly pochette. And I mean, I feel like it has a different look to it than a Kelly pochette does especially considering that it also comes with a shoulder strap. This is something I would highly encourage you to look into. Now I have not had a chance to carry this bag, obviously, and I still have to figure out how I would do that because of the color and the styling, but I have really high hopes for it. And I think it is a bag that a lot of you out there would really enjoy. So I was very excited to bring this back to your attention and be able to share with you my firsthand experience because I do think it is an extremely user-friendly bag that of course borrows inspiration from the Kelly bag and it pays tribute to the house's iconic bag. And my friends, this brings us to the end of today's Kelly Elan unboxing. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it. And please don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section with us. I cannot wait to hear what you have to say. Have you seen this bag in person? Have you played around with it? If you haven't, would you consider it? I cannot wait to hear from you. And while you're down there, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I really appreciate you being here and watching and I will see you back here with a new video really, really soon. Mm -hmm.